Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Paulo Junior. I work in Comprov. I'm from Brazil. And today I will present the technical paper Link Redundance in the Process Bus According to IC621850 Edition 2 Experience with RSTP, PRP, and AHSR protocols. This paper aims to approach the link redundance in the process bus, detailing the protocols, options, and comparing them. It was implemented an IC62850 network with link redundance consisted of an AED and a test set simulating a merge unit. This network was submitted to the contingence of breaking one the communication paths. The behavior and the effects of the recover time were evaluated and discussed over the three link redundance protocols, RSTP, PRP, and AHR. The RSTP rapid in spanning tree protocol consists in reorganize the roads in a communication path is lost. This protocol is an evaluation of STP and keeps only one activity path at a time in order to avoid communication infinite loop. The PRP parallel redundance protocol is implemented in a mesh topology. The information is duplicated to recover time is due in case of link loss. The device that receives the information discards the duplicate one. In the PRP, the redundance is implemented by duplicating the number of suites. The AHSR, the High Availability Seamless Redundance, is implemented in a ring topology. As in PRP, the information is also duplicated and the recover time is also new in case of link loss. A source node sends the duplicated information in both directions and the receiving node discard the duplicated one. In the AHR, there is no need to use suites, so the redundancy is implemented at the ID that make the network. Comparing the three protocols, it is possible to verify the RSTP has some recover time because if your communication path is lost, the algorithm must calculate another one, and it takes time. The PRP and HR have a new redundance protocol, no, no recover time because the information is sent duplicate. The main difference between the PRP and the HR is the topology, which one is implemented, the PRP in a mesh and HR in a rig. This leads to verify how redundance occurs in each protocol. PRP needs to use suites and HR, there is no such niche. An important aspect to consider is about both last two protocols is that they are transparent to application layer. About where link tag is located in the frame structure, in the PRP, the tag is located at the end of the frame, as shown the figure in left. And the HR, the tag is located in the middle of frame, as shown in the figure on the right. To verify the behavior of the, each redundance protocol on the process bus in a protection case study, a test setup was performed consisting of the test set C6710, an electronic switch to implement the contingents open when the communication paths, Ethernet switches, red box, and a protection IED GEP446 as shown as in the figure below. The three protocols were tested considering the contingence of link lost. The electronic switch opened the communication path, the test set published the sample value and the ID subscribed them. The fault were injected on the same moment the link was open and the ID trip times were verified when occur this communication loss in each redundance protocol. The ID was tested with distance protection function enabled, and for this study case, fault were injected with Z1 zone, which was parameterized with no time delay. Also, the loss rate level parameter has been set to 15%. 
in the ID, the limit of rate, loss rate level is from 1.25 to 15%. This parameter indicates how many sample value frames the ID can lose without blocking the protection function. In each case, the trip time were evaluated 50 times by repeating the test. And this data statistical analysis was performed calculating minimum, average, maximum, and standard deviation times. So the control reference test was in a normal operation, which means without contingency. And the verification test was performed by opening one communication path, which means with contingency. This slide illustrates the test structure with the suites, test set, red box, and IDs. First, without contingency, consider the three protocols, RSTP, PRP, and HSR. And now, with contingency, opening the paths, consider the same three redundance protocols. In this table, there's the statistical analysis summary of the trip times in each case, protection test with and without contingents comparing the three redundance protocols. Analyzing the average trip time, it is possible to verify that with PRP and HR, the average time were very close to each other when occurred link lost. However, consider the RSTP, the average trip time was very high when the communication path was lost. But why? To help us find the answer, we use the Comprov Multim SV, software which works as a multimeter for sample value frames, capturing them from the network and perform oscillography, network errors analyze, statistics, and etc. Through Multim sample value error analyze, it was possible to see that a moment of the contingency 35 sample value packets were lost. Consider the 9-2 LE, sample rate 4,800 hertz, 35 multiplied by 208 microseconds. The RSTP recover time was 7.69 milliseconds. The ID could only lose 12 frames in a cycle. Consider the loss rate level of 15%. Thus, the protection was blocked in the IED. This 364 milliseconds was composed by recover time of the RSTP plus the protection reactivation and plus the trip time. Here we have the comparative graphics of the study case. Consider the average trip times with and without contingents, comparing the three protocols in the horizontal axis the three protocols, RSTP, PRP, and HR, and the vertical axis are the average trip time. Consider each one of them. So first, without contingents, the time were very close. Then with contingents, the RSTP time were very discrepant related to the PRP and AHR. And finally, the time difference between the network without and with contingents. Look that is a very high in the RSTP and very low in PRP AHR. As the conclusion of for this paper, we performed the evaluation through every trip times. In the RSTP case, the recover time was only 7.69 milliseconds. It was lost 35 sample value frames which result in a protection being blocked. There was an exaggerated trip delay difference without and with contingents from 16 to 364 milliseconds. In the PRP HSR case, there was a negligible time difference without and with contingents. This result leads to conclude that these protocols are more suitable for process bus. Thank you.